In Lime Survey, you can use conditions to build filters into the surveys, i.e. certain branches when the respondents give certain answers. In this video, I want to show how to insert these conditions at three different levels, namely at the level of the question, at the level of the question group, and at the level of the sub-question. Hi, my name is Paul Borsdorf. I am an authorized Lime Survey partner and support you in your work with Lime Survey. Okay, let's start with a very simple example. I have a first question here, which people can answer with answer A, B or C and then let's first look at the simplest and most well-known case, namely that we want to set a condition at the level of a question. In this case, this Q1A is supposed to be a question if the respondents have chosen answer A for question 1. To do this, I go to edit from this question Q1A and there I can then insert a condition. So I have to note that the condition is not inserted into question 1 here, from where the branch is supposed to start, but it is inserted into this question Q1A, because this question should only be displayed under a certain condition. And under what conditions? Then when the respondents have chosen answer are in question Q1, so let's go in here again briefly, look at the coding here again. Answer A is code 1. So I now have to write the following in here with the condition. Q1 equals 1. That's all. So now this question Q1A is only displayed if the condition here, this condition here, is met. If you have not so much experience with writing such conditions yourself, here is a little tip. And you can also go to these three small dots here and then use the condition designer to answer this question or click this condition together, so to speak. This works as follows. All previous questions are displayed here. So I select the previous question Q1. Then I can set the comparison operator here. Equal, smaller, bigger, unequal and so on. Stay with the same and then here is the answer A, which is coded with 1 in this case. Then I go to add conditions and then the condition is inserted into the question. So if we look at it again, we now see that the condition looks a bit more complicated, because it is first looked at, so to speak, that the answer to this question is not empty and then it is said that this Q1 should take the value 1. So it looks a bit longer than if you write it yourself, but it has exactly the same effect as simply adding Q1 equals 1. Well, we'll test it right away. I go to the question group preview here and then I choose answer B or C here, then nothing happens. If I go to answer A, then as I said, this question comes to question 1 if answer A has been chosen. Okay, that was the condition on the first level, which was the question. Now there is another option to insert the whole thing at the level of the question group. To do this, I just click on add group, just write test here, save and add question and any example question is simply inserted here. If we don't need to enter the content now, we can also save. However, it is important to see here that we now have another group of questions and that it also contains a question. Of course, this can also contain several questions. If I now go to the level of the question group here and then on edit, then I also have the possibility to insert a condition here. So here I could write the same thing as just now, for example, Q1 equals equal to 1, then the complete question group including all questions that are in there would only be displayed here under this condition. Here is another tip. Unfortunately, this condition designer is not offered directly here. But of course you can go to the condition designer here in the question, put together a condition there and then copy it here as well. Well, then let's look at the third level, and that's at the level of the sub-questions. There are no partial questions for single choice questions like this one, but there are, for example, for multiple choice questions. So if you go to edit here, then select the multiple selection for the question type, then you now have the so-called sub-questions here. So these are the different answer options in the case of multiple selection. I have now simply written in here question about answer or in question 1, answer B and answer C. That is, I would now like to achieve that this sub-question is only displayed here if answer A has been given in question Q1. For this I write here under relevance equation, which is the same as condition, is simply the designation that was previously common in Lime survey. I can simply write this condition in again, as just now, so Q1 equals 1. This question should only be given for answer B, so I write Q1 equals 2 and then copy it once and paste it here again. Now for the 3.
Okay, let's go to save and see if the whole thing works. Again here via the question groups preview. So if we now have answer A, here comes our question in the separate question about what we did in the first step and then here in this Q1B only the question comes to answer A. For B, the question comes to the answer B, and for C, the question comes to the answer C. So you see, you can insert the conditions on these three levels. Survey group, question and sub-question and can then incorporate any number of branches into the survey. I hope this has helped to understand the conditions in Lime Survey a bit better. If you need support in equipping your survey in Lime Survey with conditions, please feel free to contact me. My website is linked below.